Next, we're going to talk about unit conversions, how we can convert from one unit to another. Um, now, for these topics, you can use a calculator. Um, of course, we'll have annoying decimals to deal with. Um, but um, all of the unit conversions that we could see will be contained in a chart called unit conversions on Canvas. Um, so let's see how we can do this. Let's do uh, a few examples. Example, convert 180 centimeters to inches. Um, then we're going to convert it to feet. Well, let's start with inches. Well, here's what we're going to do. 180 centimeters. Well, we need a unit conversion between centimeters and inches. Let's see if I had another example of what I wanted to do. Um, we need another. We need a conversion between centimeters and inches. Well, in the chart, we have. Recall, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And in these. I find it very useful, almost essential in my mind, to keep the units organized. Because what we're going to do is use division to our advantage. Meaning, if you divide centimeters by centimeters, the centimeters are going to go away. So if we, want to to con if we want to convert to inches, well, we'll take this 180 centimeters and multiply by this equality. You know, it's technically multiplying, since these are the same, you know, you multiply by one, divide by the other, that if you preserve the units, um, essentially works into multiplying by one, as far as the units are concerned. But what we can do here, we want to, we want uh, to have inches, we're starting with centimeters, so let's divide by centimeters. You divide by centimeters, the centimeters are going to cancel. You multiply by inches, the centimeters are going to cancel, and you're left with inches. And these are the same as far as those units are concerned. So doing this multiplication will uh, result in a corresponding number of inches. So what would you do? You'd do, what, 180 times 1 divided by 2.54, and what number would you get? you get an approximate 70.9 inches. 70.9 inches. Oh, and then that would be our answer for this one. Uh, let's do another. Next example. To do this next example, I'm going to uh, just use this first example. Convert 180 centimeters to feet. Well, well, before doing that, 70.9 inches. What is that in terms of feet and inches? Well, it's 60, 60 inches and 10.9 inches. So it's 5 feet, 10.9 inches, if you want a you know, more uh, understandable measurement. Um, but instead, let's convert 180 centimeters to feet uh, directly from the centimeters. You could use the previous example and go from there. I'm just going to show this to show um, two unit conversions at once. Now, convert 180 centimeters to feet. You'll notice on that chart there is no uh, relation between centimeters and feet. But there is a relation between centimeters and inches. There is a relation between inches and foot. So what we can do is convert to inches and then convert to feet. Um, if we didn't have the previous example, or if you use the previous example, you just convert that to feet. Um, but here I'm not using the previous example. I'm going to go directly from centimeters to feet. Well, how do we do that? Well, we just keep our units organized again. First we're going to convert to inches. So we have one inch divided by 2.54 centimeters. 
the units, centimeters would cancel out, we're left with inches. And now we want to convert to feet, we use our next conversion. We have inches and feet, we're going to divide by inches to cancel out inches. We're going to multiply by feet, so that we're left with feet. What is it? 12 inches and 1 foot, so 1 and 12. You do this uh, multiplication, 180 times 1 times 1. Divided by 2.54 divided by 12, or divided by all of 2.54 times 12. Uh, and what do we get? We get 5, we get an approximate again, 5.9 feet. So that's 5 and 9 tenths feet, not um, 5 feet 9 inches. Um, let's do a couple more. Let's do uh, three, hmm, four more, or maybe three, I don't know. Let's, let's see what we can do. Convert. So um, in the previous video, we talked about squared and cubed quantities. Let's see how that works with these, uh, with these um, unit conversions. Convert 25 inches squared to centimeters squared. Well, convert 25 inches squared to centimeters squared. Again, we want to keep track of our units. So we have, we're starting with 25 inches squared. And we want to write this in terms of centimeters squared. Well, we have a relation between centimeters and inches. It's about to write plus. So if we get rid of inches, divide by inches, multiply by centimeters, that may look like all we need. But notice here we have inches times inches. We have inches squared. So to eliminate inches squared, we're going to need to square our inches. We're going to need to square our number. And if we square that, well, we better square the top too. So with these squares, if we keep track of our units, we notice we're going to have to square everything over here so that inches squared cancel and we're left with centimeters squared as we wanted. So here 25 times 2.54 times 2.54 is 161.29 centimeters squared. And this is an approximate. Actually, maybe it's not. I don't know. It, yeah, that's an approximate. Uh, five. Yeah, that's an approximate. Whatever. Um, in the previous video, we, we looked at square, or we looked at uh, going from a square foot to a square yard. Let's see how that works with these unit conversions. We actually showed two different ways we could do it using the, uh, using it, way one was the linear scaling factor, way two was uh, directly with a, with a drawing. Uh, here we'll go over another way using um, unit conversions. You can do a similar argument with volume and cubing things. Convert one square foot to square yards. Uh, well, we'll, st we'll start with one foot squared. Well, I don't see any yards down here, so I need to give you another one. One yard equals three feet. Now, on the chart, I am going to give even the uh, obvious ones, like 12 inches and a foot. Um, and I'm just going to include every one that you could see. Um, because there are some, like this first one, that aren't obvious. Uh, we want to convert from square feet to square yards. All right, uh, hmm. I guess to be consistent with... Um, okay, I'm going to change this a little. To be consistent with the example, with our comparison, we were technically comparing yards to feet. So instead, I'm going to convert one square yard to square feet. In that example, we were looking at how many feet there, square feet there are in a square yard. So I'm going to do the same thing here. We're going to start with a square yard. 
and we're going to convert to square feet. Well, how do we do that? We have a conversion between yards and feet. But we need to cancel out yards squared. So we need to square everything. Yards in a foot, there's one yard, so one squared yard squared. Three feet, three squared feet squared. Our units are all going to cancel. Well, our yards are going to cancel. We're left with one times three squared, which is nine, all divided by one, which is nine. So nine square feet in a square yard. So there's a, a third way you could have um, concluded that. Let's do a couple more. Uh, convert 50 kilometers to miles. Um, and I need to give you another one. I'm going to give you directly that one kilometer equals 0 0.621 miles. Um, in the uh, next one we do, we will see uh, um, that we won't be able to go directly from what we started with to what we end with, given the conversions we're given. You can create a conversion factor. Um, well, more on that when we get there. Convert 50 kilometers to miles? Well, we need to cancel out kilometers. So divide by kilometers. We need miles at the end. Multiply by miles. So we have 0 0.621 miles per one kilometer. 60 times 0 0.621 is, what, like 31 or something? 31.05, yeah, of course, it's 31.05 miles. That one is equal. Um, but let's look at this next one that's a, a little more involved. Uh, convert 20 miles per second to kilometers per hour. So here we have two different units. Um, we have something we're multiplying by and something we're divided, dividing by. Um, so on, um, on the chart, I do have the uh, time conversions, like seconds to minutes to hours and so on, to days probably. Um, but here, I'm not going to write them there on the chart. Um, but here, what we're going to do is, again, keep careful track of our units. We're starting with 20 miles per second. And we want to convert the top to kilometers. We want to convert the bottom to hours. Well. We can use the mile to kilometer conversion factor. One kilometer, 0 0.621 miles. If we use that, well, we're halfway there because miles have canceled and we're left with kilometers. But how do we convert seconds to hours? Well, on the chart, we don't have the number of seconds in an hour, but we do have seconds to minutes. Seconds are in the bottom now. We want to cancel out seconds. So we're going to need to put seconds up on top. Those will cancel now. And we are going to convert first to minutes. How many seconds in a minute? Well, the chart does tell us there's 60 seconds in a minute. Uh, that's one of them that I happen to know off the top of my head about. Well, that doesn't give us what we want. We want to convert to hours. Well, we know how to convert minutes to hours. We know there are 60 minutes in one hour. And notice with this, our minutes are going to cancel out. And our units, other than those that have canceled out, our units are kilometers in top and hours in the bottom. So if we follow these numbers, we'll be left with kilometers per hour. So what do we get? We get 20 times 60 times 60 divided by 0 0.621, which is approximately uh, 115,942.03 kilometers per hour. And that, you know, that, that makes sense. 20 miles per second is incredibly fast. So it makes sense that we got a huge number. Um, let's do one more example. This one will be 
you know, uh, well, we'll see. You are, this is from the textbook. Well, it's based on something in the textbook. In Germany, gasoline costs, the units according to the textbook that they use are 1.59 euros per liter. I don't know about you. I don't know what any of that means. But I do know how to interpret it in miles per gallon. So what we're going to do is convert this to miles, or miles per gallon. What am I saying miles? Dollars per gallon. To dollars per gallon. So let's convert this into dollars per gallon. Well, I need to give you some conversions. In um, Whenever the textbook chose this example, they did give a conversion between euros and dollars. So it's said, I think, December 2014. So I'll just say we use one euro equals one dollar one and twenty-four hundredths of a dollar, dollar twenty-four cents. And we'll also use, I need to give you one from liters to gallons. Well, um, I will give you that one directly. I won't make you go to like from liters to centiliters to ounces or something like that. And I'll also give you, uh, what is it? Uh, one gallon equals three point seven eight five liters. Um, so how do we do this conversion? Well, we start with 1.59 euros per liter and we need to convert to dollars per gallon. Well, we have a conversion between dollars and euros. Dollar twenty-four for one euro. Euros will cancel. We're left with dollars in top and we also need to now convert liters to gallons. But notice liters are in the bottom and we again want our units to cancel. In all of these, before even considering the numbers, I considered the units and which units need to go where. So there, if we put liters in top and gallons in the bottom, now Liters cancel, euros cancel, we're left with dollars per gallon. And what is this? This is seven dollars and forty-six cents per gallon. A lot of money. Um, this must have been written when gas was much more expensive. Um, so these unit conversions, there are uh, a bunch of examples on the worksheet that use many more that are in the chart. Um, but they all work out the same way if you're being careful with uh, organizing your units.